Good morning everyone and welcome back to Nat's Knackers Yard. Um, I'm Nat and this is my Knackers Yard. Um, what are we on today? It's a bit of a 125 scooter today, I think. Uh, I've pushed out the other bikes just to make a bit of room. Um, progress is good. Um, I think the painted black on those just looks so much better. It melds them in. I looked at um, one of um, Charlie, the motorcycle rescuers videos last night, the Tamaretti. Um, which I may ultimately end up swapping for this, but I don't know yet. Um, it doesn't have those. It's just the plastic. It doesn't have the metal light guards on it, which is a bit odd. Um, but yeah, it dulls them down a lot. Um, I think I am going to paint these. Um, I did do the checkerboard yesterday. I sat uh, yesterday evening scratching around, and it's it's pretty hardy stuff. Um, so I think I am going to do those, but certainly not yet. Um, what I do have is these crappy levers. I have new and improved, less crappy levers um, that arrived about 20 minutes ago, so they're going to go on today. Uh, I've got wind mirrors as well. I did a bit of sewing last night just to close up the gap under there. Just see my dodgy sewing under there. Um, by sewing, that's with an upholstery needle, so they're they're uh, like U-shaped, bent. So you know, like the old. Um, I don't know, like sailor um, surgeons on the uh, old warships um, that I used for. Why have I got those? Oh, I upholstered a chair ages ago. Um, so yeah, that's better than was. So I'm going to bang that back on as well. I've also got the side or oh, the skid panels are done. Uh, they've been sat in my airing cupboard for the best side of a week. Um, that's just paint and lacquer, and there's still some marks underneath. I haven't bothered polishing them up because I think they're shiny enough um, and protected enough. So I'm going to get those on. Um, now, I might have to, might have to, don't know, I might have to go for a little bit of a zip tie solution because I'm not convinced that all the holes line up or they still exist in some cases either. So um, I'll do what I can do, but yeah. A few other bits need doing. Um, the indicators are all a little bit ropey, but I need to give them a go over. One of the bulbs has fallen, uh, one of the bulbs, one of the uh, lenses has fallen out on the other side, so I will have a look at those. A little bit of a clean up and tidy up. It would make sense to do all of that first before I move to the levers, but at the moment I have really no front brake because this is so um, shagged um, and there's no fluid left in it anyway. So what I want to do is change the levers out first. Um, because I want to give it a test ride. Uh, I want to see how it rides. Um, and I'm not brave slash stupid enough to do that with uh, only one brake. Well, I am up and down the hill. <laughs> but not for anything around the block. Which um, I think I really need just to see how this runs. Right, so first things first. Pick one. I think I'll pick what should be simpler. I.e. the brake. Uh, before uh, the rear brake. Um because I don't have to mess around with hydraulic fluid and stuff like that. My only concern is why on earth that spike is there. Confuses me. Somebody's used it to pull that out. And the connectors don't quite look the same, so I may have to re-terminate so that I can fit onto the one that I've got. But, first things first, let's get all this detached and see what it looks like. Alright, so that's one on, and I'm really quite freaking annoyed because the switch doesn't fucking work. Um, so I've had to cut the cable but you can tell the switch doesn't work because let's see if we can see the brake light comes on when I connect so I'm connecting the two terminals which obviously allows the engine to turn over as well but when connected oh I'll just bodge those for now because a bit later, but when connected and pulling the lever, I get an audible click, but no light, which is really fecking annoying. Uh, I'm going to have a tinker, see if I can fix it. I've already emailed the company and said, oi, uh, let's have a look. 
Right, so the front brake just fell on, basically. Um, uh, the switch in it works, which is good because it would really piss me off if neither of them worked. So, oops, I don't want to shake that around too much. Um, so I've uh, bled it to a degree. It's getting there. I think what I'm going to do is... That's really, I mean, that's really quite firm. I could strap it down, I could leave it, but frankly, that's a full deflection and I'm about an inch off the bar, so I'm just going to nip it up. I was going to leave it tied up, but actually, that's bled really quickly and really easily. Right, cool, happy. And jobs are good. Un. So, two side panels on. Uh, I need to resort to one zip tie there because. Um, there's no bracket and I've put the uh, number plate back on this was a bit more of a bitch to get on but it's on and it's on properly i.e. with all the bolts um, they're all pretty good in the hood uh, the brake That idle seems a little bit high to me, but I might just let see if it's the auto choke. And I'm going to grab my helmet and just drag it around the drag it around the block. Cool. Back to see how it moves. Obviously, I've still got indicators to sort out, but now I've got brakes. And I've got confident enough to see how it moves. Well, it's nice. Do I have brakes that work? Turn the lights on, can we? Right. Mirrors look roughly behind me. I'm over fussed about those at the moment because they did tend to get knocked around in the garage. Right, here we go. I feel like 
waving at everyone and just shouting ciao. So say what people? That's brilliant. Love it. <laughs> Puts a smile on your face, all that. Oh, I might have to re-examine my exhaust paint because I don't think that's working. <laughs> Look at that bad boy. Ah oh, well, never mind, it's easy enough to sort out. Um, I might just turn it over and just let it burn it off. <laughs> Damn it, that was nearly a really successful test ride. Well, no, I'm um, talking out my hoop. Um, that was a successful test ride. That's brilliant. Starts, stops, pulls away really quite nicely. Really nippy. Um, that's a great little machine. I've just got to sort that out. <laughs> I don't want to poke it with my hand because it's going to melt my hand. But that's not great. Yeah. I think I might have to look for some exhaust paint rather than some engine paint. <laughs> I quite like it, it's a good feature. Um, yeah, cool, happy. Obviously, still need to sort out indicators because they look ranky. Um, uh, I need to sort that out because that's really irritating because that's taking the shine off an otherwise pretty cool day. Um, particularly because I'm going to have to do it again. But, um, but yeah, I, I'm going to go for a bit of black on that. I think um, uh, I need to sort that out because that's nasty. Um, and we'll see what happens. Right. Alright, I'm going to go for a quick amble on the uh, JPS ER5 because it's not moved for such a long time now, for a good couple of weeks. Shadowed it with Goldie, but I think it sounds better. That dog doesn't like those bikes. He got me on the scooter a minute ago. Right, I'm not going to do a full lap on this. It doesn't need it. It's still crap. It's still fine. more than anything else that it still worked. <laughs> Particularly because the other one's pissing me around for now. Made a terrible job of taking that corner, I wouldn't jump the trailer. Absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. Happy to sell it. And there you go, bikes put to bed. The reason I'm out of breath is because 
just had to push Godi up my driveway again. Lost count of how many times I've done it. Um, yeah, thoroughly confuses me that one. But JPS ready to go. I've still got the keys in it. I'll reach over and grab those in a second. JPS ready to go. Um, eBay auctions up tonight. Um, I'm going to get more than I've spent on that. So happy. It is a self-sustaining hobby, not a business. <laughs> got to remember that. The uh, little Zenon is looking really very cool. And it's just so much fun to ride. Um, I've taken the panels off. I might get those painted tonight, maybe tomorrow morning. Um, see how I get on. Indicators next and just sorting out that, I don't know, what would be the uh, top yoke, but you know, around the bars, it's just looking scrappy. So I just take it off and scrub it down, I think. Um, so yeah, oh, and then you sort out that exhaust. It settles down nicely, <laughs> just bubbles like hell. No, I'll have a look at that. Right, cool, happy. Thanks very much for watching. Um, if you're not subscribed, please do. Um, and carry on following the journey of these beauties. Cheers all, catch you later. Thank you.